So the first thing you do is you go to DJI.com and you download the latest version of the firmware. How you do that is you just hover over Phantom, hover over Phantom 3 Professional and then click download. Uh, make sure you download the most recent zip file, so that will be the most recent version of the firmware. Um, as you can see this one is version 1.5.0030. Uh, while that is downloading, you'll see that that is actually a zip file. Uh, once you've downloaded it, you will need to unzip it and then it will become a .bin file. Once you have that file, you want to drag it over and put it onto your micro SD card. Before you do that, you want to make sure there's no other files on the SD card. If you have other files or even if you have an older version of firmware on that card, it will cause all sorts of issues when you uh, go to do the update. So we're just unzipping the file. Uh, waiting for that to unzip, then you've got your bin file and we drag that and drop it onto our micro SD file. Just check that everything is on there, you only got one thing on the card and then you can uh, go ahead and walk over to your Phantom. When you are updating the firmware on your drone, make sure you do this without your props on. Um, and also make sure that you don't turn the battery on on the drone until you've inserted the micro SD card. So go ahead and put that one in. Make sure that you take out the foam from the gimbal and also the gimbal guard as well. And go ahead and put the battery into your drone. Make sure that the transmitter is also turned off during this process. Okay, so you just turn on the drone. Okay, so once it turns on, you'll hear a series of beeps. So what you're actually listening for is not the first series of beeps, which will go beep, 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 beep. You're actually listening for the second set of beeps. So once the second set starts, you will see on the front of the drone there is a little red light that will flash red and green and that is the sign that is doing a successful firmware update. Then it will take about 25 to 30 minutes to go from your first series of beeps to your second series of beeps. So once it has finished, the beeping will change, it will sound more like this. After it has changed the beep sequence, what you want to do is you want to turn off your Phantom 3 and take the micro SD and put it back in your computer. You're just checking to see if there is a successful update. So now there will be a .txt file on your micro SD. If you open that, you'll see the result is success. If you don't see that, you need to do it again as it hasn't successfully updated. Now you need to update the controller. How you do that is you attach your tablet or your smartphone to the controller, uh, turn the Phantom uh, Craft on, Turn the controller on and connect to the DJI GO app. So you'll see there that your overall status is update required. You click on that and then you click on download firmware. So once it starts downloading, you don't want to turn off or interrupt this. You want to let it go all the way through the end. Once it's finished downloading, you want to start the upgrade. So it's really important again that you don't disconnect anything while you're doing this.